Alright guys, welcome back. Um, it's probably the first time for some time since I've done one of these. Um, the reason was is I was so distracted with um, Fish and Mana, I kind of um, enjoyed the game a little bit too much. And because of that, I didn't get to spend time playing anything else in two today. But today, we ended up, well, a few days ago, I finally got my hands on um, Test Drive Unlimited Crown. Solo Crown, that's the word. I, was knew, I knew it was coming to me, guys. I don't know why I keep forgetting that word solar. Solar seems to be a very important thing, but yeah, I still um, forget about it. Anyway, guys, so I played probably the first 30 to 40 minutes of the game. Um, so I'll just give you a little rundown of what I did before we start doing any more of the um, details of the game. So I, basically, I only I started on the Stato Island, pretty much I'll call it. So it's basically just a little island the game puts you on from the very beginning. They do, it gives you a um, supercar, which is very weird to give you a supercar right off the bat. Um, but as you may or may not know, it's only temporary. You only keep it for that island. Once you get to the main island, um, you buy your own car. Um, I I think I might have picked the worst car out of it because it's got it's very powerful, but it's got next to no brakes, and it's very difficult to brake the car. So give and take. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this game, guys. I enjoy it. I mean, I started playing it. I have played it on and off. I'm, gonna, I'm playing on stream, and I'm going to be doing more streams of it. Uh, actually, today... Sorry, guys. My stomach's a bit um, gassy. I've got to be indigestion. Um, so, yeah, what happened, guys? I just finished the gym, got home, walked in, walked in for like five minutes, and then straight to the, to the video. So, didn't get my stomach chance to settle down. But yeah, um, so I enjoyed the game. I like the game. I think, as far as I can say it right now, because as of this video, I will give it a point about six or seven. It's a good racing game. Um, good MMO racing game. Um, now does it have its drawbacks? Yes. But it, one of the things I would say that's probably the best for me is the sound of the cars. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but the sounds of the cars so sound so damn good. I mean, I, I I enjoy it. I think it sounds really cool, especially for a um a, like a muscle muscle car like the Ford, I think the Ford Mustang I am driving around with. That sounds so freaking cool. It's not even funny. Um, now comparing it to the um test drive unlimited one and two for the Xbox three sixty, and I think it was for the PlayStation three at, at the time. Now that game, those two games are really good. Particularly the first one. I think the first one was better than number two, but they're both good nevertheless. And I'm glad they bring this game back. This game's really good. And this one's a bit more um multiplayer type of stuff, which is fine. I mean, I'm not really into that, but that's not multiplayer only, so that's a good thing. It does have its own story type of things. Um, it does have its own the seasons, you know, like um multiplayer seasons, you know, quite unlock cars and shit like that. Which is fine. I enjoy that kind of stuff. As long as it doesn't force you to only play multiplayer. It's not like Fortnite. Where it's only multiplayer. You can't play single player. Or well, probably can, but I don't know how to. And I don't really care how to. But you're getting to the point. So that's a bonus for me. Um, Like I said, I love the sound, sound the game's engine sound. Um, The handling of the cars. For the most part, I do like. I say that I do like most of the handling most of the handling the only thing that may feel a bit not right is when you're breaking and turning or when you're about to break and turn it just doesn't feel 100 percent uh, but other than that it feel, it's pretty good i mean compared to the previous games um yeah the handling is probably about almost the same that i remember it was a long time ago so actually shit it was a very long time ago i think it was years 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 ago i was actually going to research when it was all right, guys, so I end up finding the date. So it came out on the September 5th, 2006. So, yeah, that's a fucking long time ago, guys. I mean, long time ago. Nearly 20 years. Holy crap. I'm getting old. But, yeah, I still remember those days, guys, when I was playing that game. So I played it ridiculously. I didn't have anything really there for, except for um, doing university and that type of thing. So I didn't really have to do, I could spend hours and hours and hours on doing this and then playing a few hours a day at do some work and then back to that and yeah you get the idea so yeah um like i said it was a long time ago guys um it's really a good game i give it a good i mean so i'm looking at the um reviews for it a lot of places are giving it about five six which is fine i mean i said about six or seven 
But I like these type of games, so I'm kind of biased on that. So, I'm, um, but yeah, I enjoyed the game, guys. Like I said, the handling's good. Breaking the breaking, uh, the, some of the handling's not the greatest. And mostly the brakes. Brakes are the, pop, the part I have the most difficulty. But when you drive in the car, it, it feels pretty good, guys. But yeah, um, as I said, what was the other thing I was saying? Is, but I like the sounds of the engines. Uh, I don't really care about the soundtrack of the game itself. Um, but there's nothing on there that sounds spectacular. I mean, when I'm playing the game, guys, I'm usually watching YouTube or listening to YouTube or doing something on YouTube with YouTube or maybe even listening to the radio because at least listening to the radio makes it sound more real because when you're in the car, if you're not listening to your phone, what are you listening to? Your radio. So, yeah, that kind of just makes it feel a bit more real. Um, but yeah, as I said, guys, the base of the of it is that it gives you, I think there's two or three races you got to start off with. So it gives you an idea of the feel for the cars, um, especially the supercars, obviously. Um, it gives you an idea how to drive it, how to, how to feel the car, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Once you're done with that, guys, it basically throws you onto the main island, um, and then basically introduces you to your home, or your garages, you know, all the good little bits and pieces, and then the game basically just says, here. One of three cars, which one do you want? You want the Mustang, a free, Nissan 370, and there was another car, I don't remember it very well. I don't remember the third car, but you get the idea. And I picked the Nissan, I mean, Nissan, not the Ford Mustang, which I probably should have picked up personally, guys. I think the Nissan 370 might have been a better choice. Um, I'm not going to restart the game and do that. It's a stupid arm, but yeah. Once you do that, guys, basically the game throws you in, and you can start doing anything you want on the main island. Now, I'll explain a little bit about that now. I'm not going to do a full-on review until I get close enough to being this game. Um, but, yeah, basically, once you get your car, guys, you can pretty much do anything you want. Um, there's so there's the speed, I think there's speed traps in it. There's, there's places you can go to, like petrol stations you can use for um, fast traveling, meeting spots, things like that. Unfortunately, this game has the worst mechanic in the history of video games, guys. You gotta discover roads. Road discovery. I hate that it's a mechanic in these games. Stop putting road discovery as a thing. That's not a thing. It's just a lazy way of making you do something. I mean, I complain about collectibles, and this game does have collectibles, unfortunately, but it's not. I don't think it's excessive. Um, it's not need for speed. But sometimes I can go a bit overboard with their collectibles. Um, collectibles are good as long as you're not going overboard. As long as it's not more like a hundred or hundred in total, a hundred is more than enough for most games. I mean, you don't need like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred collectibles. It's stupid. Um, like I said, road road discovery is technically a collectible. I guess you'll call it because you're actually discovering it. So it is technically a um thing. But other than that, the game itself is really good, guys. The reason, so I'll probably downgrade to six, to be honest, because I'm going to keep it there, mostly because of the collectibles and road discovery. I just downgrade my um, first impressions to six. I don't like it. It annoys me. It makes me angry. It makes me want to throw the controller at the screen, but I don't do that anymore, guys, and there's a reason I don't do that. Back in the old days, yes, guys, I'm going back to my youth. It's like 30, I don't know, years ago. Um, I used, I had an NES and Super Nintendo. I used to crack shit all the time, free the controller and broke the controller. You know how often that happened? I had done it like all the time. So, um, yeah, I learned not to throw controllers or have a hissy fit. But, yeah, so I don't throw controllers. I don't throw keyboards. I've never, actually, I don't think I've ever broken the keyboard. I mean, I smashed, you know, banged on the keyboards, but I never actually smashed them because most of my keyboards have got the little, um, where you put your hand rests. So I usually hit that instead of actual and shit so yeah um anyway guys i think that's good um it's a good start guys what i want to do now is basically this is how i want to do it for a review i want to get the majority of the game at least 90 percent of it done i want to get, at least get the story part of it out the way and then we'll talk about the story we'll talk about all the little bits and pieces the this um the video the graphics and all that things like that this one i want to just talk about the beginning of the game what i like so far and what i don't like and i explained that very well I think. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go because I want to upload this as quickly as possible so we can get some views. Yes, guys, I know I'm, I'm looking for views, okay? This channel is still quite young and I still haven't committed 100% to it, so get used to it now because I'm going to be. Um, Hopefully, also, guys, before we finish, I will be doing the uh, Fishings of Mana with you probably tomorrow. 
I know I've got to have it the same night by tomorrow, and you know I don't do it, but tomorrow I've got plans for it, so yeah, it's more likely than anything else. Cheers.